everyone. I am doing a Q&A video. Let's zoom out a little bit. Um, like, why are we doing this? Okay. Um, <laughs> Q&A video here. Um, I am filming this on November 9th, the day after the election. If you know me, you know how I feel. I'm not going to get into it. Just letting you know when I'm filming this exactly. Um, my nose is itchy. So, I asked you guys to leave me questions on an Instagram post. And I decided to do a, um, a video, just a quick little video, for you to leave me questions. And I got a couple of questions on there. But first, let's start with the frequently asked questions that I keep getting. And I've done videos on these. So, you know, it doesn't take much to search my channel to see. I understand Instagram, and I, you're not going to scroll forever to find the, the question to the answer. Most of these questions I get from new people. So, the one question I always get is, how many planners do I have? Okay, I have more than 10 and less than 20. Does that mean I'm using them all? No. Okay? Planners that I use right now, that are in my rotation, the Webster's A5, okay, that is my life planner, which means everything in my life work, personal, everything in between goes in there, okay? And I have the Recollections binder, which houses the Happy Planner Mini. That is my personal, everything personal in my life goes in there. It's also my wallet, okay? We also have another Happy Planner Mini that I use to track my moods. I have a video on that. <laughs> um, then there is the Happy Planner, the new one. This is your year. I have an extension pack for it and it is my editorial so everything that has to do with PWK goes in there um I do have the day designer but I kind of stopped using it ever since the happy planner released the hourly sheet so I'm not I'm currently not using the day designer right now I'm also going to stop using my sugar paper as my pre-planner because since I only film one plan with me a week instead of two or more and it's on a different planner I no longer need to plan out all the stuff I need to do in a planner, so that I am retiring that. So, those are the planners that I'm using. If I get this question again, I swear I'm going to scream. Um, another question I get, why do I use these different planners? I am not an all-in-one system girl, okay? For those who are, good for you, but there are a lot of girls who are not, okay? I need to break up the different things in different planners because if I don't, I will go insane. I don't want to see all this stuff jumbled together because the minute I do, I start to panic and I'm like, I have all this stuff to do. So things that are in different planners make sense. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm also using the Recollection Goals Planner for my goals. So let's start with um, a question I got on YouTube um, by Storm Monroe one uh, I guess this is a woman, yeah. She says, I'm not sure if you want non-planner related questions, but I would like to know about your love of, for comics. What made you start liking, loving the genre? Thank you. Um, my love of comics came years ago. Years, years, years ago. Um, it started kind of with X-Men. My cousin, who's older than me, had a bunch of X-Men comic books, and so I would always read them, and that's kind of where my love started. I was never a collector until like recently and I don't even call myself a collector now I don't have that many comic books um but then once I started getting into the Batman and then Batman the animated series that's when I really started loving comic books and I am biased I am a DC comic girl because my favorite villain is Harley Quinn and I love the Joker and I love like the sirens which is you know Poison Ivy and Catwoman so that is where it just kind of came and went over the years so that's where my love came from um zodiac sign i am virgo <laughs> someone asked me what my zodiac sign was um another question i got from shanice hello shanice how do you make sure people respect your boundaries without disrespecting them if you don't respect my boundaries then i don't give a damn if i disrespect you or not that's how i feel um because respecting your boundaries is respect, okay? Um, if a person doesn't respect your boundaries, why should you give them the same, why should you give them respect back? You know, th that's just me. I'm a person where, you know, if you disrespect me, I really don't care. 
you know, what you're doing, what, what happens in your life, you know. Um, my boundaries are pretty simple, you know. Don't talk about my husband or kids. Don't come for me. Stay out of my personal space. Call before you come to my house. Um, <laughs> you know, um, stuff like that. But if you, or, you know, or something that can trigger something for me my mental illness, if you can't respect that, then why should I respect you? So with that said, if you are dealing with somebody who just refuses to respect your boundaries, cut them off. Easier said than done, but I swear it'll be better for you if you just cut these people off because what good is it? What good is it going to do you if you keep letting people into your life that just don't respect your boundaries? You know, I'm not, I'm not understanding. Um, so let me get to Instagram for the Q&A because I got quite a few questions. Um, a lot of them were jokes. Um, a lot of girls who I'm friends with, you know, do I work or do I work for Michaels? You know, I said this in my live stream a lot and um, I don't know what started it. I don't know what made people think that I worked for Michaels. Um, people assume because I posted pictures that I worked there and a lot of them were stock pictures. A lot of people assume that when I posted the picture from the new stuff that's coming to Michaels that they just assume that I worked there. But in the caption it says, not my picture or this was sent to me. Um, I mean, it's, it's, I don't work for Michaels. If it, if I worked for Michaels, you guys would know it because it would benefit me and it would benefit you to let you know the inside scoop. Um, of all things to lie about, I would not lie about having, you know, not, I mean, not having a job. People usually lie about having jobs. I would not lie about not having one. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know why this started and people t telling me, um, sorry, that's all behind me. Um, people telling me I, I should feel flattered that people assume this. It's annoying when people assume this. Um, people telling me, you know, I, I would be, if people thought I was in the know and I'm just like, how do people, why do people think I'm in the know? I don't know anything about Michaels other than you do, other than walking into a store. So I want that out there. I don't work for Michaels. I had to put that in my Instagram profile because people just, you know, um, Alexis um, asked, what are some ways you deal with anxiety? Um, Alexis was in my live stream yesterday and I was just like, um, you know, I try to avoid things that can trigger me, but I can't avoid everything. And when I feel like I'm getting really, really anxious, really deep and heavy breathing works and trying to slow my heart rate down because anxiety attack comes when your heart rate is going really, really fast. And so when you try to calm your heart rate down, that really helps you with your anxiety. Um, a lot of things, um, knowing your triggers can really help you with your anxiety because you can kind of prepare for it. Does it always work? No. But once you can figure out what triggers you, you can kind of stop it before it comes. Um, she also asked, what's been your favorite planner? I have to say my favorite planner of all the planners that I used um, has to be the Webster's A5. And the reason I say that is because it is, I can use it everywhere. And what I mean by that is it has pockets on it and I can take it with me and I can use it. You know, it can be become my wallet and also my life planner. Uh, I. It's very customizable because it's, um, it's a six ring binder, which means I can add anything to it and I can really make it my own. Um, so I really love using that. It's a, it's a really nice planner. She um, Then she asked, when did you start getting into planners? Um, I think I answered this before. Um, I bought my first, like when I first got into planners, I bought it like June of 2015. Um, but I didn't really go like head first into it until I got the Happy Planner, which was the end of September of 2015. Um, she asked, what's my favorite recipe? My favorite recipe to make is macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese. Um, favorite makeup product of all time. My favorite makeup product of all time is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And if you're a makeup lover, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So Shanice asks again, if you could live anywhere doing anything, where and would it be? San Diego and doing what I do now. 
<laughs> not very exciting but san diego me and my family love that city so if i could live in san diego that would be nice but it also means i would have to be making a shit ton more money than i make right now because san diego is one of the most expensive cities to live in in california um so caitlin asks who's mint fox meadows asks what's your biggest regret with planners whether it be within the community or just a planner purchase you've made um one of my one of my biggest regrets a planner purchase was probably the man be happy planner tote bag not that new ugly shit that's out now um the one that you can hold all your supplies i don't use it and i got it because the hype was there and so that's probably one of my biggest regrets because i just don't use it um and within the planning community what's my biggest regret is believing that everybody is is nice <laughs> some people can be you know shady smile on your face and you know and do things um but you guys know me i'm a very upfront and honest person people think that's rude that's fine you can think that um but yeah my within the community i think it's just assuming that everybody is all you know cupcakes rainbows unicorns sunny skies um and with planners my biggest regret was probably um buying the big happy planner at the time you know it's like oh this is working great for me but it's one of those things it was just way way too much space and i used it you know for a while but um i think i used it what did i start when did i start using it in july and i stopped using it maybe august so i didn't use it that long but i kind of got bored with it so that's that's probably my biggest you know um re plan or regret um jada quotes hey girl asks how do you balance your relationship when your bpd is playing up oh girl um <laughs> how do i balance my relationship with my bpd you know a lot of times um when a when a mood is shifting or my emotions I try to just I try to throw myself into a hobby that I'm doing so I don't blow up on somebody. So whether it's you know editing some photos, editing videos, because that seems to take a look from whatever's going on and calms me down. Um, going in the room, having a good cry or whatever, just so I don't have to bring anybody else into it. Because as much as it is my illness, it's still my family's illness because they have to deal with whatever is going on with me. So I try not to bring them into it too much because it's enough to deal with on its own. So I try to distance myself a little bit and you know, usually my husband will be like, you know, what's going on? I'll be like, Shh. <laughs> just let me deal with this right now. Um, but it's gotten to be a process. It wasn't always that way. It used, it used to be bad, a lot of blow ups, a lot of tears, a lot of yelling, uh, but it's a lot better than it used to be um then she asked how much does michael pay <laughs> they pay they pay everything for everything themselves um will you show your discount oh my god um the distressed mom asked what um a, i would love a few tips on balancing being a wife mom blogger and youtuber and doing them well um you know it took me a while to figure out a balance on how to do all these things well because you know, us serious bloggers and serious YouTubers, we tend to throw ourselves into our work and we can kind of forget about the more important things that are going on in our life. And my, my advice is this. My advice is probably gonna be a little bit different because a lot of people work so they can't do this. But for me, I try to do everything planner related, PWK related, when my kids are at school and when my husband's at work. So I have a big chunk of the day where I'm by myself and I try to knock all that stuff out. Now, if you are a working mom, I say what you do in your planner. Schedule a chunk of time throughout the week where you're gonna focus on your planning. So you can say, all right, every Monday at six o'clock, whatever, between six and seven, that's when I'm gonna write out, you know, what I need to film for the week or what I need to blog for the week. And work on that for an hour that way it's out of the way and then what you can do if you need to film or whatever throughout the week carve out a chunk of time for that too maybe a couple of hours throughout the day and say look mommy's got a blog or mommy's got to do a video um i know this doesn't always work if you have smaller children um but i i think if you explain 
to your spouse or to your partner like look i really want to do this and i just need like a couple of hours on this day to blog to film or whatever you know as your work time and i think i'll understand i think if you if you talk and you communicate my marriage advice video um your spouse or partner will know okay this is what she wants to do and this is her time and i'm gonna let her do that so yeah um pumps and planners asked me um why did you stop using your happy planner a while ago i have a video on this it's called a change is coming and i stopped using it because i got bored with it that's when i started using my sugar paper planner but i no longer use my sugar paper planner because it just got to be too small so that's why i stopped using it how many minis do you have i have three no, actually, I have four. I have one that I'm using in my recollections planner. I have the Hello Beautiful one. The one in my recollections binder is the undated one. Um, the Hello Beautiful one I use to track my moods. And I have the fitness one, which I will start using in January. And the other one is just, is I'm not using it right now. Then she asks, why did I use a recollections binder instead of an HP one? I also have a video on this. Um... I use the recollections binder because it has pockets and I can continue to use it as my wallet. If I were to buy the deluxe cover, then I would not be able to use it as a wallet. It's very simple. How does one, how, how does your family feel about your addiction? Um, addiction sounds so bad. Um, <laughs> um, my family is fine with my job because this is my business. Uh, my husband supports it. It, you know, um, I've never been one of those, I've never been in one of those relationships where I'm, you know, I'm not allowed to do something, you know, um, but I mean, it's not like we sat down and have a conversation and nobody's like, you know, mom, this is getting out of hand. Addiction, addiction makes it sound like I'm just out here buying every single planner and every single planner supply and then I have a, you know, a closet that's just overflowing but i wouldn't call it an addiction i just call it a hobby that turned into a business um britney says what is my favorite holiday christmas <laughs> not because i get a ton of gifts but i love giving my girls gifts and i love seeing their reactions when they open their gifts um and then shanice asks again i have a good question what do you do when your family is toxic drop them let him go. Cut the cancer out of your life. You will be a lot better. And that is, I believe that's all of the questions. Yes, that is all of the questions. It is. So this was fun. If you have any other questions, please don't ask me any questions I've already answered. I do have two previous Q&As up. Search my YouTube channel. I do have a change is coming that explains why I stopped using the Happy Planner. Yeah, I have the Happy Planner setup video that explains to you how I put the mini Happy Planner into the recollections binder and it, it, I explain it to you why I'm using it. Um, I also have a video on, um, I think when I started planning or how I started planning or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, some questions I get asked a lot of, and I'm like, I have a video on this. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time.